Well, here we are again in the tasting room. Glad you could join us. Someone has to do this horrible job of tasting beer. And I'm only doing it for you. Well, maybe not. We've got two beers on the dark side today. Imperial Stouts. And I am a dark beer drinker, but I don't like nasty dark beer that's too hoppy. So, let's get started on some of this beer. We're gonna use our normal beer score sheets, and you can find the scores on our website to the different beers that we're tasting. The first one we're trying today is Grand Teton Imperial Stout. This is brewed in a little town in Idaho, and it certainly looks pretty. Let's give it a go. Okay, not a great smell, but not bad. Let's have a little sample here. Well, it's a very pretty beer. I'll give it credit, nice and dark. Oh, not a great head. The smell, the aroma, it's okay. But I'm having to really push it to get a good mm, grain smell. So, I'm not pleased with that at all, but I love Imperial Stout, so I'm excited about trying this. So, for this one, as far as its aroma, on a scale of one to 12, I'm gonna give it an eight. Its appearance, as we all know, appearance one to three, Cares. As long as it doesn't look like it's got mold and stuff on it, its appearance will just give it a two. Now for the big part, the flavor. Isn't that what beer is all about? Flavor. So let's see what this is gonna do for us. Mmm. Well, I have to admit this is letting me down. I expected a much bolder taste. I want something that's really, mm, that just grabs me. And the hops, the hops seem to be almost too much. The hops is overpowering the grain taste that I'm after. Hmm, well, I was excited about this beer and I think I've lost my excitement. I mean, yes, it's a nice dark beer, but I really wanted more. And also, hmm, I have a definite hops aftertaste. Now, I love hops like the next guy. Give me a great IPA, I want the flavor of those hops. I can be a hop head with the rest of you. But there's sometimes, particularly in really good dark beers, I don't want that real heavy hop laughter taste. I want to have the sweet grain, the, the flag, fragrance of hops, but without the bitterness that leaves stays in my mouth. So, I'm gonna have to go with this as far as the flavor on a scale of one to 20. I'm only gonna give it a nine. As far as its mouth feel, well, it's got a nice carbonation, but it, it, it's, it's, uh, it's not a big scale. Scale of one to five, I'm giving it a three we're just gonna have an average. So my overall impression with this beer is, I guess I'm disappointed. I wanted more, and it's not delivering that. So my overall, on a scale of one to 10, I'm just gonna give it an average of a five. And that works us out to 27, on a scale of 50. I really wanted more. Well, our next beer today comes from a little town in Northern California that is one of my favorite places to go visit, Fort Bragg. And they have their own brewery there. I have sat, I've had their own draft, and it's quite good. And they do, it's called Old Rasputin Imperial Stout. 
I'm excited about this because I have tasted some of their other beers and really liked them. I hope this follows through, particularly being the Imperial Stout it is. So let's get started. Well, again, it's a beautiful beer. I mean, most dark beers are. Can't see through it. It looks very nice. It's got a pretty good head. How's the aroma? Mm. Now, I can really smell the grains in here. It smells wonderful, and I'm not being overpowered by a hop smell. Mmm. This smells lovely. So, let's give it some scores. On its aroma, on a scale of 1 to 12, I'm going to give it a 9. As far as its appearance, yeah, you know how I am with appearance. <laughs> Doesn't, I don't care what it looks like as long as it tastes great. So I'm going to give that a 2. Now we'll try out the flavor. And I am waiting for this. I want this one to be good. This is delicious. This is what I want a big beer to taste like, particularly an Imperial Stout. It has got all kinds of wonderful grain flavors. I can feel the, or taste the crystal in this. It has hops. The hops are not overpowering at all. They're just there in the right quantity. This is a delicious beer. And uh, normally we share the beer with the crew. I'm not sure I'm gonna share this one. So as far as flavor is concerned, I'm gonna give this, out of 20, a 17. Its mouthfeel is really quite nice. Carbonation rolls off the tongue very well. The flavors are wonderful. The hops are not killing my palate. I, I like this. Scale of one to five, I'm giving it a four. So overall, my impression of this beer is quite good. I'm really enjoying this. So my overall impression out of a scale of one to 10, I'm gonna give it an eight. So it looks like we have a score here of, well, a 40 out of 50, scored well. This is a delicious beer. I think you will enjoy it if you enjoy big beers. And an Imperial Stout is supposed to be a big beer. So, Old Rasputin, mm, did not fail. Hey, thanks for joining me. Give it a try, give them both a try. I'd love to hear what you think about the bears. Leave it in the comments box below. We'll see you next week when we try out some other beers in the tasting room.